Welcome back. We'll continue. All right. Oh. Yeah, we are having fun with physics, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. General relativity. Okay. So, Mr. Einstein, wrong again, right? Why does he do that? He's a nice guy, but was wrong twice, right? Yeah, Mr. Einstein. Yeah, photoelectric effect. Great. That's what he got his Nobel Prize for. Photoelectric effect. Okay. Yeah, brown, yeah, motion, all these darts in the air. Yeah, he did good job there too. All right, he's a good physicist. Everybody makes mistakes, okay? Yeah, so yeah, we don't judge him, all right? But he was wrong big time, okay? So general relativity. He thought gravity is special. Gravitational force is different from other forces. That was his wrong assumption, okay? Yeah, this tensor analysis, is field equation, okay, whatever. It's just wrong, okay? There's no such a thing as black hole, no. Works of man, all right? It's just imagination. When or I, whatever, okay? So yeah, it's all wrong, okay? I, I'll show you. Okay, so we, we're gonna, we're about to disprove Einsteinian general relativity, okay? Yeah. Okay, it's very easy, right? Okay. Mr. Einstein said, gravitation is such a special force, so you have this sun, and you have this photon, you have the distant star, photon, okay? You shoot out the photon, it's a distant star, okay? And he said, it bends, this photon, which has no mass, okay? But me occurred to Mr. Einstein, oh, gravitation, right? You have the sun, you gravitation, yeah, it bends the light because space, time, space, it curves around the sun. Well, that's what he said. That's what he said, okay? And we're gonna disprove him, Mr. Albert Einstein. <laughs> All right. Okay. He even tried to generalize it, like unified field theory, whatever. Okay. All right. But he failed there. All right. Well. Okay. All right. So, his assumption is this, right? There's some spaceship, right? Like elevator, okay? It's a rocket. It's 
going that way. Okay? With acceleration. Right? Let's say uh, absolute value of this acceleration is 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay? Just like gravitation, okay? So, so Mr. Einstein, he, uh, his assumption is this. Oh, there, there's this guy, right? Right? Uh, this acceleration, 9.8 meter per second squared, right? This guy in this rocket, okay, yeah, it's like he feels as if some kind of gravitation, okay, accelerating, all right, rocket. So he kind of feel like some something is pushing him down, just like gravitation, okay. Yeah, he's grounded, all right, as if there's this planet Earth. Okay, and then this guy Right? Gravitation force Grounded, right? Yeah 9.8 meter per second squared Gravitation, okay? Yeah so Mr. Einstein, his idea is this, okay, so there is no way to tell the difference between this accelerating rocket or this guy standing on Earth, 9.8 meter per second squared. So he said, there's just no way to tell the difference. So that was his assumption. Okay? All right. Now, let's say this rocket has a window okay and there's this star sun it shoot out this photon so this guy is absorbing this photon and it bends like this parabolic fashion because it's accelerating if it is going, if this rocket is going constant speed, with, without any acceleration, yeah, then photon will travel on a straight line, like this. Okay, why? Uh, it's just Newtonian Galilean physics vector summation, right? Yeah. Okay. Photon is going that way, rocket is going that way, so it's like relative speed, right? It's going like this, so yeah. It's just vector summation, okay? But if it's accelerating, it will go in a parabolic fashion, as opposed to straight line, like this, okay? Yeah, I mean, some physics and mathematics background is necessary to understand what I'm saying. All right? Yeah. Okay. So Mr. Einstein, according to him, because this gravitational force and this acceleration, this inertial force, because they are equivalent, yeah, if photon comes here and shoot out the photon, okay, from the star, we also bend in a parabolic fashion. That's Mr. Einstein's general relativity theory. Okay? And we are saying it's wrong. Okay? Give me five minutes and I'll show you. Okay? Right. It's very easy. Right. Yeah. Let's take five minutes, okay? So I I show you, right? Oh, boy. Ah. Yeah.
All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's grab another whiteboard, okay? So, all right. Yeah, some random from way back we try so hard to prove or disprove gold bars contention, but we couldn't. All right, we get back there if I lose this direction. Okay, no problem. All right, so yeah, we take another shot at it. All right, yeah, gold box problem. Okay, so. all right. Way more difficult than disproving Einsteinian <laughs> general relativity. <coughs> That's easy, all right. Yeah. Okay. Let's say photon. Okay, is neutral. Photon has no mass. It's just energy, light, wave property, particular property, whatever, right? But it has no mass. Photon. And also is electromagnetically neutral. Photon is neither negative nor positive. It's not North Pole, South Pole, it's neutral. Okay? Photon. Alright. Let's say there's this elevator, okay, and there's this guy. Right? And this elevator, okay, uh, is insulator. He's safe, okay, but uh, insulation beneath that is uh, negatively charged, okay. Above the ceiling, after the insulation, yeah, it's positively charged, okay. Now. Below the elevator, this negatively charged this pad. Above the elevator, uh, again negatively charged. Okay, so minus minus they repel each other, right? Plus minus they attract each other. So uh, there will be this constant force. So there will be acceleration. Okay, let's say it's nine point eight meter per second squared this acceleration magnitude okay now this elevator has a window all right and there is a star that shoot out this photon and it will according to this observer in the elevator it will make this parabolic fashion Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, let's go along with Einsteinian logic, right? Because Mr. Einstein said, yeah, photon will bend toward the earth or sun, mass, okay? All right, okay, okay. Two pads, okay, minus recharged, negatively charged, another pad, positively charged, okay, so this 
electro electric field here right so according to mr einstein this star right and it will bend down like this parabolic fashion because there's this electric field force field just like gravitational field right so does light bend like this when it has no net electric charge but according to Mr. Einstein it will bend like that or it will <laughs> worse yet it will it can bend like that too electric force field just like gravitational field but it doesn't so that's the disproof of general relativity okay light does not bend in force field or be it gravitational field electric field no nonsense right yeah mr einstein all right yeah he was wrong okay so. because it's same acceleration 9.8 meter per second squared whether it be electric force field or acceleration or gravitation whatever okay so it does not make any difference okay so if light bends due to gravitation it will also have to bend in the electric force field but it doesn't so there's nothing special about gravitation okay mr einstein was wrong okay yeah you want to see something more? I show you. We'll disprove and disprove and disprove again and again, okay? Because, uh, yeah, it's not that difficult to disprove, right? Yeah. Because you need just one counter example, okay? Yeah. And we're going to have some more examples, counter examples, okay? So. Yeah. We grab another whiteboard and we disprove again. All right? Yeah. Just give me five minutes, okay? Yeah. yeah.
Okay. Fun, 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 right? Yeah, we are having fun with physics, right? So, because we're gonna take a break from politics. Ah, forget about politics, okay? So, okay. Now, electric field, right? How about magnetic field, all right? We recycle this, okay? Magnetic field. Let's say your South Pole magnet, North Pole, okay? And bottom of this elevator, North Pole, ah, uh, no, South Pole. And also South Pole, okay? So South, South, they repair each other. South, North, they attract each other, okay? So you have this constant uh, acceleration, 9.8 meter per second squared, all right? And you have South Pole, you have North Pole, okay? Magnet, magnetic field. According to Mr. Einstein, again, okay? Yeah, like photon, because acceleration in parabolic fashion, right? So how about this magnetic, magnetic field? Yeah, you will bend upward or downward or whatnot, okay? It's false. <laughs> because photon is electromagnetically neutral, okay? Also, it has no mass. Right? Okay. You get it? Yeah. There's no such a thing as photon bending upon gravitation. No. No such a thing. Alright. Now. One more, okay? And then we'll wrap it up. Let's say this guy a sailor is a ship in the ocean. Right, he's a sailor, okay? There's wind blowing, wind force. So he's pushing this ship from here to there, wind blow, okay? Wind force, sailor, yacht. Back in the days, they had this wind blowing, wind powered ship. Back in the days, okay? Yeah, sailor, sail. Okay, so. So, yeah, this guy's going that way, okay, with this constant force, acceleration, and he observes the photon falling down like that, okay. So, the wind blows. This force field, wind force. So, this photon will go that way or this way? Can you blow the photon away? Huh? This wind velocity, this wind force field, does it have any effect on this trajectory of photon? No. Why? Because photon does not have any mass. It goes straight line. Okay? So that's the disproof, okay? So yeah, Einsteinian general special relativities, we just disprove both of them. Alright. Whether physicists accept this disproof or not is irrelevant. Alright? We just disproved it. It's our job to correct the wrong. If they don't accept this disproof, well, whatever. Okay, so. But we did our job, okay? Uh, yeah, so that's that. Okay? Right. Yeah. Limited liability, okay? Yeah, we do our job, whether they accept it or not. It's their problem, okay? It's not our problem. We did our job. Yeah, so that's that, okay? Whew. Bottom line, 
yeah, Einstein was wrong in special and general relativity. Okay, the speed of light is there's nothing special about it. Okay, yeah, it's what speed of light c is what three times ten to the eighth meter per second, something like that, right? There's nothing special about speed of light, no. Because you have water, okay? When there's light going this way and it hit the water surface and it bends. Why? Because water, light, photon, it slows down in water. Okay? It does bend. There's optics. Okay? You have this optical cable, right? It can bend, right? Like optical fiber, glass fiber. Yeah, light, it bounces around. Five glass fiber optical cable. Alright? Because light slows down. Light slows down in glass or water. Okay? So, yeah, I mean, in vacuum, speed of light is constant, but if it's not vacuum, if it is glass or water, light does slow down. So speed of light is not that absolute. Okay? There's nothing special about light speed. Okay? And there's nothing special about gravitational force. Right? It's just like anything else. Alright? So Mr. Einstein was wrong and wrong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And relative speed, if I'm running like half of light speed, and if I measure the speed of light, it will be half of light speed. Right? Yeah. How about this astronomical data? They made it up. Okay. Light does not bend. Behind the star, I mean, behind the sun, yeah, the star bend, yeah, they did not observe that, okay? They, they were pushed and pushed by this politic, political, scientific politics. They just bend their data, all right? So that's mistake they made, all right? During the World War II, okay? Yeah. But they could not observe light bending, okay? But they got pushed, pushed, and pushed, and they said, okay, okay, Mr. Einstein, you're right. We, we manipulated data to fit into your theory. <laughs> That's what happened, okay? So, yeah. We'll take five minutes break, okay? And then we'll go after climate change. Again, wrong theory, right? time is it? Ah, oh boy. I don't have my cell phone with me. It's like 9 o'clock, okay? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's illegal to drive without your driver's license or car registration or registration plate, sticker, or insurance, car insurance. It's illegal to drive without that. But cell phone, it's not illegal to drive without cell phone, okay? And I'm stone cold sober, so I may go to karaoke bar, but now that I don't have cell phone, yeah, but it's not illegal to drive without cell phone, okay? So 
Yeah, it's good that I didn't lose my wallet. But I lost my cell phone. Oh my goodness. But I'd like to go to karaoke bar, dance club. Uh. Cause now that I'm sober, right? So, yeah. All right, we'll take five minutes, okay? So, yeah. I don't know where my cell phone is. <sighs> Breaks my heart. Oh boy. Let me take five minutes, okay? Right. Somebody call me, please, so that I can find my cell phone. Oh boy.
Okay. We are back. Let's grab another whiteboard, shall we? Okay, we we'll talk about climate change, all right? We we'll disprove it too, all right? Yeah, back in the days, let me grab some more water. So, back in the days when climate change was king, okay, people were afraid of rising sea level. Hey, we're gonna all die! And but that's false alarm. <laughs> we're kind of beating the dead horse, right? It's, it's already gone. Climate change, nobody cares about climate change anymore, okay? Yeah, but, we are scientists, okay? So, Yeah, we do science, okay? Alright. I'm kind of debating, should I go to karaoke bar or what? I might, because now that I'm sober, I can drive. Yeah, I don't have cell phone, I lost it. But it's not illegal to drive without cell phone, right? Yeah. I'm sober, so I'm not drunk. Just been drinking water, all right? This is Hawaiian t-shirt is from Michigan, okay? This is one and only Hawaiian t-shirt that I brought to Alaska from Michigan. I used to have like dozens and dozens of Hawaiian t-shirt in Michigan, but I had to dump it to the dumpster, why? I don't have time to sell it, donate it. I just don't have time, okay? So I just put it in the dumpster and I couldn't carry it with me because I don't have money to do so, okay, so, yeah, and that was like five years ago, yeah, I graduated from Ann Arbor, Michigan Law School, and then I came to Alaska, okay, in this Hawaiian t-shirt, okay, so this kind of generous sentiment, okay, we, yeah, from Detroit, Michigan to Seattle, Washington, and from there to Anchorage, Alaska, okay, so, switching the planes and um <coughs> so this kind and generous very humorous gentleman he, he told me hey young man you're not going to hawaii you're going to alaska so we had a good laugh okay so it was, i was wearing this okay it was like late may five years ago okay yeah so i came to anchorage alaska five years ago and then the rest of rest is history okay all right so why are I doing science now? We don't want to do politics anymore, okay? I mean, I mean, for tonight, we want to take a break from politics, okay? So tomorrow is Sunday, there's no political meeting, and but next week, I will be very busy. Because there are a lot of political meetings next week that I need to attend, okay? So we're taking a break from politics, okay? Yeah. That's why we're doing science. All right, so, You have this cocktail cup, right? Kind of upside down triangle. And you have beer cup, beer glass. Okay? And you have flask. Right? So we are talking about angle. Right? Now, if you pour down cocktail or wine or beer, all right, uh, the speed of increase in this sea level, right, speed of increase. Okay? Yep. 
let's say they have same volume okay all these cups have same volume but as you pour down water into each of these glasses the speed of increase in this water level right uh what do you think is the fastest increase and slowest increase i'll give you a minute okay bottom line we're not gonna die from this climate change because sea level will not rise at all okay so. they say so because they don't understand mathematics and science and we do okay so we're gonna disprove this climate change alarm they don't know what do they know right so. uh, knowledge is power okay and lack of knowledge is fear right fear of unknown okay so the, so the fastest increase in this sea level water level all right fastest second fastest and the slowest why because here you have increasing surface surface area so you pour down the water, it will very slowly rise because you have increasing surface area. Right? Here, surface area is constant. Here, surface area is getting smaller and smaller. That's why you pour down the water in the flask, it will go up very quickly. Here, intermediate. Here, very slow increase. Water level. Why? Because surface area is getting wider and wider. Okay, so water will just spread and this is how ocean is valley ocean floor look just like this so sea level even if there's ice melting it will increase very slowly okay Yeah, this ocean floor, okay, yeah. Why? <coughs> because triangle is the most stable structure in, in the universe, okay? You have mountains, mountains, and valley. All right? So ocean look just like this. Pond, lake, river, it always look like this, okay? Yeah, continent, ocean floor, okay? It'll increase very slowly, right? Another approach. Okay. You have this beer cup, okay? And you put some ice in there. I mean, it, yeah, the level will go up a little bit because you, now you have this floating ice, right? But once you put it ice in there, when this old ice melt, uh, the this beer level will not increase. It will stay exactly the same here when the ice all melt. You will stay right this level. This Archimedes's uh, theorem. Is corollary of that okay so iceberg is already floating right when it melts it will not increase the sea level okay yeah how about iceberg that's already grounded so you have this water pan uh, container okay and you have water and you have this big ice that's grounded at the bottom of this container when it melts down will the water level increase yes but if you go to north pole south pole okay most of ice they 
you don't get to see ice mountain. Why? Because ice is very brittle, fragile. And you go to North Pole, South Pole, a lot of wind. So most of the ice you see in the North Pole, South Pole, they are very close to water level. Because this, they cut it down. Wind blowing, they cut it down. Okay, so that's why all this ice in the ocean, they are already very close to the water sea level. Okay, so when they melt, it's not going to make that much difference. Okay? Yeah. There we go. And the sea level was very low during the Ice Age because a lot of ice was on, on the continent, like Canada, America, Russia. Yeah, so sea level was low, like Aleutian Chain, Land Bridge, Bering Sea, okay? That's how ca Asians came to Alaska, then Canada, America, Mexico, Peru, Ar Argentina, Brazil, okay? Yeah. They came from Asia when sea level was very low. But, during the Ice Age, but we don't have that much ice on top of continent. Why? They already melted. 20,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, okay? So sea level is already there, so we don't have that much ice left anyway. So even if all the ice melt, it's not going to make that much difference. That's science, mathematics, physics, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll take five minutes break, okay? And then we'll talk about LGBT. Okay? We're gonna disprove them too. Alright? Okay. Scientifically, mathematically, alright? Yeah. All these ideologies, yeah, we'll disprove them one by one, mathematically. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry. I gotta eat something. Kind of sleepy too. Uh, campaign fatigue. Yeah. All right, we'll take five minutes, okay? All right. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna eat something real quick. So I'm hungry.
Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of cold, right? We don't need this anymore, okay? So, behind us. Oh, boy. Yeah, I turned the heat off because. It's summer, but it's still Alaska, okay? It's, it, it, it gets chilly sometimes. Alright, so. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I ate some potato salad left over in my fridge and milk. It was good. So I'm no longer hungry. So, LGBT, how can we disprove LGBTism? Gayism, okay? It's easy. So, yeah, I mean, Homo sapiens species, we evolved such that uh, our mode of reproduction is heterosexuality, okay? There's some species out there, okay? They, their main mode of reproduction is incest. What species? Tapeworms. This intestinal parasite. Their <coughs> main mode of reproduction is incest. Alright? And there are some other species like clownfish, right? They can switch gender, gender bender, alright? Some species like earthworm, its main mode of reproduction is uh, homosexuality. There's some species like that. Okay? They can reproduce. You know, homosexual fashion or incest or asexual reproduction like bacteria just divide in half, like binary fission. And some species can switch the gender, like transgender, okay? Yeah, there are some species like that, right? But that's not Homo sapiens though, okay? So homosexuality, like man to man, woman to woman, that's self-contradiction right there why right? because when we talk about sexuality it's about reproduction but homo sapiens we cannot reproduce in the same gender fashion okay so that's this proof right there it's very easy right how about coronavirus let's disprove that too <coughs> so to be healthy, you have to exercise and diet so that your immune system is strong, antibody production, okay? Yeah, that's the best vaccine, all right? Healthy immune system, all right? Martial art, dancing, all right? Running, cardio, muscle exercise, okay? It generates heat, and that's very good. Yeah, also, wash your hands, personal hygiene, take a hot bath, right? Very healthy. Also body temperature control, okay? Yeah, have layers. Yeah, very good stuff, okay, so. How about BLM? Uh, there's no racism in America, okay? Look at all these African-Americans who make great success like basketball star football star president Barack obama okay yeah they're african americans but they're very successful right so there's no racism qed okay that's the proof okay yeah, there's no racism right? yeah. we don't care what race this person is if this person work very hard we buy their products, goods and services, okay? We elect them to office. We hire them. <laughs> There's no racism or sexism, okay? The mayors of Washington, D.C., Chicago, Illinois, and also uh, Atlanta, Georgia, they are African-American females. They work very hard. They're smart. Yeah, they get elected to mayor. Well, Supreme Court justice, right? Judges. Doctors, a lot of African Americans, okay? 
Because they work very hard, so they get hired or elected, appointed. There's no racism in America, okay? Okay. What else? Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say today. Okay, so uh, I'm kind of thinking, should I go to karaoke bar, dance club? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Campaign fatigue. Okay. Oh boy. I think I can use some good sleep. All right. Yeah. Because I'm not comfortable driving without my cell phone, right? It's not illegal to do so, but what if my car stops running? <coughs> I cannot call anybody, okay? So, yeah. come Monday, I get a new cell phone, okay? Yeah. I looked everywhere, I, I cannot find my cell phone, so. Yeah, I'm not comfortable driving without cell phone, okay? What if my car stops running, okay? I cannot call anybody, okay? So, yeah. I just go to bed. Yeah. Okay? Alright. Have a good night. Bye.